What's up, know it alls, and welcome to Listry, where we're gonna teach you something new. So, today we're gonna be going over probably one of my favorite lists we're ever gonna cover, to my knowledge, and that's 10 animals that use bizarre methods to kill their prey. And I'll tell you this right now there is one animal in particular that I used to find absolutely adorable, and now they terrify me. So, enjoy number 10 we got the komodo dragon all right these bees are sometimes called the land crocodiles they're the largest living lizard on the earth they can grow up to three meters long and weigh up to 70 kilograms they're carnivores which is terrifying and have had fatal encounters with humans in history don't worry though, they're largely restricted to a few islands in Indonesia, including Komodo. You know, hence the name. Komodos hunt in packs, but their method of killing is to charge their prey and attack their underside or throat with their sharp claws and serrated teeth. Causes rapid blood loss and fatal lacerations. That is absolutely terrifying. Number nine, we got the golden eagles. All right, these dragons, that's what I'm gonna call them because they literally look like a dragon. They have a wide diet like squirrels, pheasants, reptiles, small birds, but they've been very well known for their attacks on deer. They got powerful feet, sharp talons, and all they do, they just swoop in and grab them. You can't do anything, like they could probably take me out. They went viral on YouTube a while ago after videos emerged of them swooping in and hitting coats off the edge of cliffs before picking them up and dropping them from a distance on rocks to kill them. That's, that's like quadruple their weight at least. And they're just picking them up and dropping them mid-flight. Number eight, we got the electric eel. So there's not very many animals that can do what electric eels do. They use their electric charge to stun their prey. They usually inhibit like dark and murky water. So... Like their prey has no idea they're there and bam then seconds they become a meal their diet is usually carnivorous which is like fish insects different amphibians and reptiles so they use their shock power for defense but also so that they can hunt with it their motion sensitive hairs help detect pressure change in dark waters which helps them know when a prey is around to kind of trigger their charge next one we got dino pie day i think i'm saying that right but they're commonly known as the neck casting spiders which explains their hunting technique to catch prey they're found in tropics of Australia, Africa, and some of like Southern Americas. So what they do pretty much, they hunt after dark. They use their unsuspecting and exceptional movement and huge eyes to spot prey like ants, moths, crickets, beetles, and so on before just casting a net over them lightning quick. The spiders make their net out of silk, and sometimes it is three times its own size. Typically sets traps as a target point before waiting for a victim to approach. Number six, we have my personal favorite, the frogfish. Because these things are just so ugly and terrible swimmers. They, they pretty much resemble me. But anyways, what they do is they use their vulnerable looks to just lure in praise 
and then as soon as they get close, it only takes them 6 milliseconds to do a lightning speed attack. They usually, you know, use their technique to catch prey that doesn't involve moving, which is why they lure them in with their strange look. And <laughs> this is often like worms and they lure them close and then BAM! Done. It's over. The frogfish can also swallow animals twice its size, which is insane. Next, we got the secretary birds. So these birds are kind of weird. They don't really hunt in the air. They hunt on land. So their weapon of choice is to hunt in pairs and they use their feet. They kill their prey by kicking or stomping it to death. <laughs> Could you imagine method of death being curb stomped by a big bird? So they're native to Africa and their prey usually just consists of like beetles, insects, and then small mammals like mice, hares, and mongoose. It's claimed that they also do kill snakes sometimes, like cobras, and they use their stomps to the head to kill or immobilize them. Next we got the Margit. Alright, so this nocturnal small cat is native to South and Central America. It employs the rare technique of mimicry to lure its prey. This is, t this is terrifying because what it does is it hunts small animals like monkeys and squirrels and birds and stuff, but it's also known to be a vegetarian. But it vocalizes the sound of an infant cry of a monkey, which lures the monkey in defenseless looking for a baby and then it attacks and takes it out and starts its pursuit. These things are absolute psychopaths and I love it. Number three, we got the archer fish, which looks nice and simple, you know? These things, they, they're kind of like a squirtle, like from Pokemon, if you guys remember that. So what they do is they go to the surface, go to the surface of the water, and they shoot water out of their mouth. But like, it it's not like a little squirt. It's like, bam, you're dead. So they can shoot up to seven, like, arches of water, I guess we can call it, because it's an archer fish, like a bow and arrow. Um and they shoot down bugs and insects and just right into their mouth. And if they miss, they leap out of the water and attack. Number two, we have glowworms, which I honestly just thought looked cool before I learned this, um, but they're a huge tourist attraction in New Zealand because of, as you can see, they look beautiful, but their glow is actually a hunting technique. So when their bioluminescence lures in like insects and bugs, um, they, they kill them. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. like. They draw insects in, and when they get close, they get trapped by their sticky webs just like that. And then, bam, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number one, we got bottlenose dolphins. Okay, so this one terrifies me the most because I always thought dolphins were so cute. Like I went fishing with doll, fishing with dolphins. I went swimming with dolphins. I did not fish for a dolphin. But anyways, what they do is they hunt as a team 
and they create mud nets which causes their prey which are usually fish to jump out of the water and just land in their mouth they hit the ocean floor with their tails and swim up stirring the mud and pretty much causing like a tornado effect which traps schools of fish in and when the schools of fish try and escape by rising and jumping out of the water that's where the other dolphins are just waiting for dinner Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. And I hope you hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Make sure to check out our other episodes.